Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and web designer at TechDips.com. We got a great one for you today. We got a full width, full screen video section for you with a little call to action button here. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to add a new page and we'll start from scratch. Okay. Call your page whatever you want to. I'm going to use a Divi builder, obviously. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm going to add a row with a single column. I'm not actually going to put anything in it just yet. I'm going to make it the size we want it. I want it to be full width and full screen height. So to do that, I need to go in there, over to design and sizing. I'm going to put the custom gutter width down to one, which will be no gutters. The gutters are the space between and around elements. So they'll be tight there. Height wise, I want to give it 100 viewable height. VH. That's going to make it the full height of any screen that it's being viewed on. Width wise, I want it to be 100%, which is all the way along the screen. I'm going to copy that, Control C, and I'm going to paste it down below in the max width, Control V to paste. Great. We've now got a row that stretches full screen and full height. Got a bit of a gap at the top there. Let's take that away. That's in our blue section there, the blue tab for the section. Again, to design, you'll always find spacing and sizing under design. I want to make sure there's no padding at the top, so I'm going to put a zero and also similar for the bottom. Great. Well, let's add our little video now. I'm going to use a code module for this. So I'm going to hit the little dark plus to add a module. I'm going to go down. There's a code module. Now let's get the video we want to embed for the background. I found one here on YouTube, which is a kind of spacey type thing. Once you get there, go down to the share button at the bottom. Hit the embed button. And here's the embed. I'm going to have mine start at probably the 30 minute mark. It's a pretty long video. So I'm going to check this. Well, I'm going to put 30 minutes in there. 30.00. Great. Don't want to show the player controls and I don't want to enable privacy enhanced mode. So I'm going to leave both of those unchecked. Once you're happy, hit the copy to copy the code. We can go back to our page and paste the code in there. And there's our video. Later on, I'll show you how to auto play and mute it like I had mine earlier. So there's not confusion. I'll leave that off for the time being because it may be too much with the video playing and me describing what's going on. Great, so we've got our little video there, little gap at the top, that must be on our row. So let's save this, I'm gonna go into the row, little green tab. And again, to design and spacing, I'm gonna put a zero in the padding top and hit the chain, it'll do the bottom as well. Great, so we're buffered up right against the top there. So now we've got our video in there, I want to make sure there's no overflow. So let's go back into the row, I'm going to go to advanced, I'm going to go to visibility, overflow, I'm going to turn them both to hidden. That way there'll be nothing falling out of our 100VH row that we've created there. Great, well let's save that now. And we'll go down, I'm going to add a new row, little green button to add a new row. Again, I'm going to use a single column. I'm going to use a blurb module for mine today. Obviously put whatever title you want in there. Or anything that you want, obviously. I'm going to leave the content as it is, as I've got no real content. Image and icon, if I roll this up, you can see what's going on. I'm going to use an icon instead of an image. So I'm going to switch the little switch to yes. Let's choose a little video icon. And there's a lot of icons here. They've just teamed up with Font Awesome. So we've got plenty to choose from. I'll use the same one as I used before. Great. Now I want to add another little module. I'm just going to use a button. So we've got a call to action. They can click on it and we can take them where we want. Put in what you want it to say there. 
down below you can put the button link in i've got no real link i'll put a hashtag in always best practice if you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window if you're linking off site open it in a new tab that way your site will stay open great well there's our little button there all i'm going to do for the time being is pop it in the middle so i'm going to go to alignment and just pop it in the middle right there great well we've got what we want now we need to pop it up on top of our video here to do that i'm going to give this row down below here green tab for the row again i'm going to give it the same height 100 vh as we have above that way when we scoot it up and add another row underneath it should work fine so in the sizing i'm going to go down to height i don't need this one to be full width i'm going to go down to height and put in 100 vh for viewable height and as you can see it's now stretching the full size of my screen or whatever screen you happen to be viewing on now we need to scoot this up over the video to do that still in design i'm going to go down to spacing just below sizing i'm going to give it a negative margin of negative 100 vh which should pull it up on top of our video above so negative 100 vh and there it is you can't see it very well but it's actually there there's the icon and things so padding wise let's pop it down so it's more central so let's try 25 vh maybe that's not too bad that's about right maybe a little bit more let's do 30. and we can readjust this for tablet and mobile let's get it looking like we want it first then we'll adjust for tablet i probably wouldn't have this on mobile because most mobile phones actually block autoplay video but that's up to you and i think there'll be too much content to show the video in there so let's save this let's just style up our little module here we go to wireframe mode little icon down to the bottom left here now let's get into our little blurb icon and we can flip back now we're in here and let's just style this a little bit i'm going to go over to design image icon i'm going to make that white in color let's go down to the text this will do both the heading and the content i'm going to flip that to light that text is now light as you can see i want it all in the middle i want my title a lot bigger and i think i'll give them both a bit of sharp text shadow just so over the light bits of video they'll stand out a bit more my regular title text i want to make a lot bigger so i'm going to hit the little pink brush to take me straight there or you can just roll down and find it if you want to it's just down below in title text i want to make that perhaps bold and let's give it maybe 40 pixels and it's breaking into two sections there with a blurb module they give you a fixed width i'm going to make mine 100 percent of the row it's in which is about this wide about 70 percent of the screen so to do that still in design we can go to sizing there's the content width right there i'm going to put 100 percent in there 100 and the percent sign there we go that's rolling out a little bit more i think i might make this body text maybe semi-bold perhaps and as with divi you've got a huge amount of amount of fonts to choose from to audition one just roll over it it'll give you an example i'm gonna leave mine on the default today but i will make it semi bold just to make it stand out a little bit more great okay well let's move on to our button there and again i'm going to go to wire screen because we've pulled things up on top of each other it may be difficult to get the various modules that's why they're sort of appearing and disappearing there that's why we can go to wireframe mode and get to it very easily that way once you're in there we can go back and my button i'm not going to do too much for it alignment we're fine i'm going to flip the little custom styles for the button on button text size is fine text color i'm going to make white i'm going to give it a purple background and then perhaps on hover we'll change it to a different color maybe red perhaps 
and this is common to all Divi modules, if you roll over the dart riding within a module, you see some little icons appear. Go to the thing that you want to affect, in our case is the hover, there's a little arrow there. You can click that, we've got a desktop state where we want it to be purple when the mouse is not on it. When they put their mouse on it, let's change it to red, perhaps. Great, little white border around there, I don't particularly want that, so I'm going to take the border away. And if you wanted rounded corners or something like that, you can up the border radius on there. Higher border radiuses such as 50 will give it rounded corners. I'm quite happy with the default. And with all Divi modules, if you do something you don't like, just simply select it, delete it, it'll go back to the default for you. Great. Well, I'm fairly happy with that now. It's pretty much what I wanted. But we need to make that video auto play and mute. The reason I say mute is to me, videos that auto play with sound are kind of annoying when I go to a site. So again, let's go to wireframe mode. We'll go back into the code. We need to modify it a little bit to auto play. So let's flip back so you can actually see what's going on. I'll try and zoom in on this when I edit this video. Here's the actual URL of the video itself. Now, because we hid the controls, it's got a question mark controls equal zero and it's telling it to start at the 30 minute mark. Just after that question mark, I'm going to write autoplay equals one, which will make it autoplay, hopefully. And then I'm going to say and mute equals one, which should mute it. And put an ampersand after that last one to complete it. And there you see, we've actually got our autoplay video playing there. And there's no sound. So let's save this there. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we go. We've got our little full screen, full width autoplay video with mute with a little call to action section on the top there. And that's a great little feature to have on your site. Like I said, you may want to disable it on mobile devices. It should work on tablet, but we are going to need to actually tweak it a little bit for the tablet. So let's do that quickly. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder again. Let's hit the little purple button here. We'll take a look at tablet mode. Yeah, it's not quite working there on tablet because we pushed it down the page too far. So what we need to do just pop to wireframe mode. Let's go back into our row and we can go back to tablet mode now. We look down to our design here and spacing. We've got 30 VH padding on the top, which is pushing it to where it is at the moment, which is too much for tablet. So what we want to do is roll over where it says padding there, hit the little mobile phone type icon in tablet. Let's take it down to maybe 5VH. That's better. That's going to work fine. And for mobile, I don't think I'd use it at all. If we switch to mobile here, we've just too, got too much content to be able to do it. And a lot of mobile devices actually block autoplay video anyway. So what you could do, you could have a static section, just add a new section and have it for mobile. So I'm going to actually hide this on mobile to do that. Go over to advanced, down to visibility, and disable on phone. That way we won't see it on the phone. We'll just see it on tablet and mobile versions. One last thing while we're in the road, let's go back to desktop mode. If you push your content up over your video and you can't see it, you may need to just the Z index. To do that, again, over in the advanced and we're in the row that the call to action or the button and the blurb module are in, in the advanced, we can go down to position. You can roll down to Z index, and just give it a crazy high number up there and it should pull it on top of your video section. Great, so we should be good to go. Let's just save our changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready and exit the Visual Builder. 
And there we go, guys. And that's a great eye-catching little thing to have on your website. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.